What's up everybody, it's East West Photos checking in here and welcome back to the channel. In this video we're going to talk about what it's like to be a traveling videographer slash photographer on the road with a hip hop artist. I'm going to show you a video that I did for Lil Baby. It's a recap video of one of his most recent performances in Los Angeles. As we watch the video, or maybe even after we watch the video, I'm just going to break down some of my thought process of some shots that I like to do before I go into the show. Uh, during the show and then we're going to talk a little bit about the editing process some cool things that I really didn't think about before I went into the show that I pulled in later at the end and you know we'll break it down so let's take a look at the video right now I'm gonna press play on the laptop and then I'm gonna put it up on the screen you know how those youtubers do everything I'm gonna put it up on the screen and then we're just gonna break it down together little baby I've been knowing little baby since he was probably like 15 years old Lil Baby is, to me, the epitome of an Atlanta street artist. It's crazy, I'm like, you got swag. Like, you're respected in the city by everybody. I was like, you got it. I was just playing y'all. Alright, so I watched that a million times. But it's always fun to watch my work over and over again. So you should too, you know, just go to the link right there, watch the video, give them views up a little bit. I appreciate it, thank you. But now let's take a look at um the video again and then I kind of break down uh the steps I went into to making the video. So at the beginning of the video, I have audio of Coach K talking from Quality Control, just talking on his experience of knowing Lil Baby, how he ended up signing with QC. I found it randomly on YouTube, and I just thought it'd be a dope. I just thought it'd be a dope element to incorporate into the video, something fresh and something different, like to show a documentary style approach to the performance. As you can see, you see Lil Baby walking through. The tunnel, like he's getting ready to go to the stage, putting on his jacket, kind of really showing off his drip. He spends a lot of money on the clothes that he wears, so sometimes I want to incorporate that into the video so people also know what type of you know clothes he's wearing. All right, so moving forward into the video, I have these grand scale shots of the audience and the crowd at the actual venue. Um, going into my shoots, I kind of want to make sure. I incorporate the fans in some way. You know, they paid all the money to be at the show and they want to see their favorite artists perform. But I want to make sure, you know, they get their shine because without the fans, it's really no artist. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But in this video, it just happened to work extremely well. So to get some of those shots of the fans, um, it's a mixture of like four or five different angles I can see in just in that quick five seconds. Um, you have the wide angle shot of the whole crowd, which I did from the stage. Then you have the really tight close-ups of the uh, fans' faces. I got that from being in the pit. So when I first start the video of him actually performing, um, it's just a mixture of shots there. I make, I make sure when I'm at a show, I'm moving around a lot. I'm constantly running from the stage to the pit area or somewhere in the audience to make sure I have multiple angles of him performing. To kind of make it look like I had four or five shooters with me when it's actually just myself for all these different angles. I feel like this makes my videos a lot more interesting and engaging and it makes you sit there and really like keep the detail of how the show is unfolding. And I feel like I do this really well and it's something that you could do at home too. Like as long as you keep moving around and you, you don't stay stagnant because nobody wants to watch a show from one angle the entire time. You don't really feel like you're there. You're not really engaged in the moment. So what you want to do is continuously move throughout the show. So another thing that I like to do in my videos is I really try to get shots 
that emulate what the artist is actually rapping about or singing about at the time. Like how Lil Baby says, you could find me in Atlanta, no security with my jewelry. I want to make sure like at that moment, if I'm going to use that song for the recap video, I want to incorporate his chains or just him being by himself isolated to let everybody know like his raps are actual. In this video, I kind of play with the lighting a lot um, because we had a really dope stage. So I wanted to use like the transitions of the light going back and forth. I wanted to really incorporate that into the video to get into the next segment. Uh, something that really helps me when I'm shooting is shooting everything in slow mo. Every time I'm shooting, I'm shooting at 120 frames per second, like every time. I want to be able to slow down any moment that comes across and be able to speed it up without it looking like it was on like a PlayStation 1. Also in this video, you can hear behind the music, there's a lot of transition sounds like whooshes and like droning noises. Like I wanted to build up excitement and then use those whooshing sounds and transition sounds to really make the video like progress forward. Like I said, you always want to keep the video moving forward and you want to think about um, like using those sounds to help you get to those places. Like as the lights are coming across and stuff like that, you can use a whoosh. And then as soon as the light goes by, you can use it as a transition into the next shot. I do this a lot in a lot of my recap videos and it makes it just way more epic, way more cinematic. It's certain things that I think about before I go into a show. Like I said, you want to get great fan engagement. You want to get the artist preparation because you can use that as a buildup going into the actual performance. Then you want to make sure you get quality multiple angles of the artist performing because you could patch those together in certain places to tell the kind of story of how the performance went. And I feel like that's something that I do well. And it's also very easy and something that you can do when you're filming whatever you're filming. Uh, people always ask me like what kind of camera I use, what kind of equipment I use, and actually I just use a Sony Alpha, um, the A7R3, and then right now I have I have a couple of lenses, but on the road I've only been taking my 24mm Sigma art and then um, my 50mm Sigma art, and I've been alternating between the two mid-performance, like mid-show, like I'll, sw I'll swap out a lens. Cause I'm also taking pictures at the same time. So it's not just like I'm straight recording everything. I feel like it's very difficult to do. Some people could do one or the other, but I haven't seen too many people out there doing both successfully. But thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. One or actually all three, it doesn't matter. And um, I'll check in with you guys in another day or something. That's just gonna have to work. Little Baby, I've been knowing Little Baby since he was probably like 15 years old. Little Baby is, to me, the epitome of an Atlanta street artist. It's crazy, I'm like, you got swag. Like, you're respected in the city by everybody. I was like, you got it. Baby, you ain't known for the street. Baby, you the realest. Baby, you keep the real with these people. We get out of here. We get out of here. Richard Peace Bankroll, showing how to do it. Baby, going crazy, even getting straight to it. I done caused him in the fights and I'm fucking on the storage. Catch me in Atlanta, no security with my jewelry. Found out I'm rich, my baby mama talking soon. Another bitch telling lies on the pussy like you screwing me. Catch him down bad, that's his ass, nigga, you and me. Inside diamonds on the chain, ain't fooling me. We was skipping school on the chain, they controlling. See my main partner turn to a ready, time I rock I pray the judge get a boy a bus so I can pop him. We was in the hood selling bad shoes, choppers out the fuck around the trap, going at least a helicopter. Baby, really a problem, somebody gotta stop a man on haters watching too hard, I think they got binoculars. 